The results from eight rapid coronavirus testing sites are showing Western New York still has a, has a way to go before the virus is under control. We got the results from the first round of testing yesterday, and tonight, Two on Your Side's Liz Lewin has a look at what the outcome means for the region. Claudine, the caution flag is still flying high across Western New York. Just this morning, Governor Cuomo announcing that the infection rate here in the area is at 1.6%, by far the highest across the region. In a conference call this morning, the governor stressed concerns about the high infection rate here in Western New York compared to other regions whose numbers are all below 1%. Just yesterday, over 1,000 people were tested across eight rapid testing sites, including right here at the Delvin Greider Community Center. Cuomo says while concerns started with clusters, the focus now is on using data from these testing sites to do more contract tracing to help prevent more community spread, especially in regions with high numbers, like Buffalo, topping the list with an infection rate of 5.5%, followed by Niagara County, coming in at 2.9%. If the contact tracing shows something, uh, that's what it's all about. To the extent we can find a cluster or a cause, we're on it. Here at the community center, people say the line has been moving and the testing quick. It was like quick and painless, very simple. Um, actually, I made the appointment today and was able to get in today. Miss Evelyn Booker came all the way from Grand Island and says today she's beyond grateful to be sitting in this chair because her summer hasn't been easy. You have to look out for your personal needs and then you worry about the parts of the family, friends, and it just never stops. While testing is done for the day, tomorrow doors will reopen at 9 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. And not to worry, you have until Wednesday to get tested. For more information, visit WGRZ.com. In Buffalo, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.